Posidonia forms vast underwater meadows, which can be seen from space. It is one of the few flowering plants that colonize the marine world. These plant formations are over 100,000 years old. It is one of the oldest living organisms of our planet. Posidonia releases oxygen in the water, stabilizes beaches. It is a real carbon sink and also a haven for marine fauna. That is why it has been protected by law for over 30 years. Its destruction is strictly forbidden. However, it remains threatened. Protection of Posidonia has permitted the limitation of its destruction. But for the last 15 years, our coastline has to face a new threat. Repeated anchoring of large yachts. 1,700 of them are over 24 meters long, anchoring along the French coastline of the Mediterranean Sea. The bigger the boats, the heavier their anchors, and the higher the impact on the marine seabed. They leave large scars behind in the Posidonia meadows. The anchors of large ships sink into the seagrass and pull out leaves and shoots. The roots are left exposed as blocks. These damages are irreversible in our lifespan. In one single night, one boat can cause wounds which will need over a century to recover. When the anchor is pulled up, the seabed is ploughed. benefit from these channels caused by the anchors as they run through them and enlarge the wounds in the Posidonia meadows. Sediments are released and the water becomes cloudy. It is not a futurist scenario or a scientific anticipation. It is the current reality. It is our natural heritage disappearing before our eyes. Why do we tolerate at sea something we cannot tolerate on land? Let's find solutions by prohibiting anchoring in Posidonia meadows and helping environmental operators to control anchorage areas. Let's mobilize technological and regulation resources to stop this ecological disaster. Take action to preserve our natural heritage and ensure the future of the Mediterranean Sea.